Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Maison African Motives uh, working on Mathematics N4 uh, that is on differentiation uh, so we shall actually be focusing on the product rule uh, remember we talked about the other part on differentiation but uh, that was on first principles something like that so we shall be actually focusing on uh, on the product rule in this platform so if you're new guys to my channel you can consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of the classes that we shall be having from Maison African Motives so uh, in this case, I want us to actually note this part. Actually, this formula, you'll be given in your formula sheet. In order for you to actually apply this, you'll be given uh, two variables in terms of, let's say, uh, they are in x. That is uh, ux and vx like this. Let's just take a consideration that you are multiplying two variables. Let's just take an example of a simpler thing. Let's just say we have 2x by sine x and you want to find the derivative of this are you saying that this is for x and this is also for x and these two variables they actually uh i'm not applying these two terms okay so the formula like i said this is going to be in your formula sheet it states that the y dx is equal to so i'm just gonna take as it is from your formula sheet guys so that uh, i don't confuse you because if i use another format maybe some of us might not understand so i'm just going to take as it is here so this is the formula that i'm going to just take there so we are given that we are going to have ux uh, the first derivative of x so you can uh, actually write in another way uh, let me explain this in this way we can uh, actually start with vx and you've got the first derivative it's uh, still one and the same thing but you according to this we have got ux here so take note ux is the original function of u that you're given and this is the first derivative of ux which means you have to find the differentiation with respect to x you have to differentiate this is vx and here is the first derivative of vx all right so that is the product rule so i'm going to use this product rule on this example here so our ux in this case is the first term with x here so it's going to be 2x that's your ux here all right let's uh, have our vx aside this is my vx my vx is going to be the other term that is multiplying uh, which is sine x all right so i have my ux my vx which is ux and vx here but here we need the first derivative of ux the first derivative of vx so i'm going to find the first derivative with respect to u which is can be written remember derivatives can be written like this u prime is mean it means the derivative of uh with respect to x okay so 2x remember it's a linear function we're going to obtain 2 and we move on to the derivative with respect to x here on v which is first derivative of v sine remember sine gives you cos if you forget this you are given uh, in your formula sheet y then divide x sine gives you cos x all right so sine is going to give you cos x as a derivative that is dy dx all right now from this let's substitute into the formula now guys that's dy dx is equal to ux so ux you're just substituting this is your ux which is 2x so it's going to be 2x by the first derivative with respect to v this one of v this one so you got this part of v which is cos x so it's going to be cos x plus u the first derivative of u the first derivative of u is 2 so it's going to be 2 by vx our vx in this case is sine x so you're simply substituting into the formula all right so that's it guys you can factor out 2 if you want or you can just leave it like that 2x uh, cos x plus 2 sine x that's your divide x is still uh, fine to leave my answer like that so that's the product rule guys that's how you apply the product rule so there are so many concept and ways actually where we can use this or where we can apply this so as you can see here guys we have got uh, different types of question differentiate the following with respect to x as you can see those terms are multiplying to each other there they're multiplying to each other so i'm just going to take uh, one or two from these uh, questions that we are given um, 
let's just uh, say the first uh, the second question number two where we're given that y is equal to x tan x okay so these two are multiplying guys as we can see so let's find our ux so this is your ux the first term which is x okay then your vx your vx in this case that's the other term with respect to x which is tan x that's the other term there all right so as you saw that from the formula you need to find the first derivative so you just list down you find your first derivative so this is x and there is one there so you're going to obtain one and uh, for v with respect to x tan okay so you forget this tan is uh, going to give you six squared okay so tan is six squared x so tan is going to give you uh, six squared x all right i have this part then i'm just gonna substitute into the formula guys that's dy dx is equal to uh, remember your formula guys that's ux here ux then the first derivative with respect to v so ux your ux in this case that's x which is a uh, 1x which is x times the first derivative with respect of this one for v so this one for v here it's 6 squared so you're going to have uh, 6 squared x plus uh, we move on to the first derivative with respect to u all right so the first derivative with respect to this one is 1 so it's 1 times vx so this one is vx just write vx as it is so vx is tan x so this is what you're going to have there all right so from this part guys we can just uh, at least try and um, combine and uh, write something that is make that makes sense here so you can just write it as x six squared x plus one times tan which is tan x so as we can see guys that's it so that's how you actually apply or that's how you simplify on a condition that you have to use um that you have to use uh, the product rule so it's only condition that you're multiplying so that was on number two uh, maybe another question that we can just try and look there on number nine there okay maybe that can be our last question on number nine so we can write as y is equal to sine x cos x all right so that's what we had here on number nine so we need ux which is equal to so we've got u and v these two terms so it's going to be sine x and your vx which is going to be cos x all right so these are the two that we're having and let's find the derivatives with respect to x so for u with respect to x this is sine and sine remember gives you cos so if you forget you just go back here sine gives you cos if you find the derivative of sine that's cos x and we find the derivative of cos which is minus sine x all right so these are the derivative uh, derivatives that we have determined there so now we just substitute into our formula now dy dx is equal to all right so what is our ux in this case our ux v first derivative of v so ux that's sine x by the first derivative of v x which is minus sine x so this is minus sine x like this plus well uh, move on this time we need the first derivative with respect to u that's ux here which is a uh, ux the first derivative which is cos x so that's cos x okay multiply by uh, let's just do this vx all right our vx sorry for that our vx in this case is cos x again so that's cos x okay so this is weird guys anyways let's see what we are going to have at the end so what am i going to do guys i'm going to expand and see uh, what we're going to have at the end was this number this is sine sec okay that one was sine sec i took this as sine cos so sine cos is number five yes sine cos this is number five actually okay okay guys this is number five not number nine because we have got sine cos okay so just cross check because i'm 
I'm, I'm worried about this part because I wrote number 9 instead of number 5. Okay, anyways, let's simplify, guys. Sin x times minus sin x, that's a plus, and the minus here, which is going to be minus sin squared x, all right, plus cos and cos, that is going to give you cos squared x, all right. So this is what we are having, and um, there's something that is that can be connected here. There's uh, some, some dots that we need to connect here. Which dots can we connect? Let's just start with the positive. Maybe it can make sense. The y dx is equal to, this is a positive, so it's going to be cos squared x minus sine squared x. Okay, uh, are we seeing something here from this part here, guys? Okay, if you don't see it, then go back to the identities that we have got here we can actually have uh, this part cos and we just have cos this one is a positive and these are negative okay so which means from these ones that we are having here there's nothing that we can actually do from them but go back to the double angle because uh, that double angle is not given in a formula sheet but we know that from our double angle cos to x is equivalent we've got three identities remember cos squared x minus sine squared x we also have two cos squared x minus one we also have one minus two uh, sine squared x so if you are to connect the dots you're going to see that this here this part here this part here cos squared x minus sine squared is actually equivalent to cos 2x so this is actually going to give us cos 2x at the end okay so this is our dy dx which is going to give us cos 2x so derivatives and trigonometry they also work hand in hand because as you can see we are working with the trig functions here so you have to sometimes apply uh what you know in um in trigonometry the identity is there okay so that's it guys from uh Meson African motives working on mathematics and for that is was on the product rule. So if there's any question on product rule that you have uh, or that you have met or that you have came across that you see that is challenging, guys, the contact is there on the description of the channel. There is the contact there. You can contact me, uh, send the question so that we can work out the question together back on this platform again. So that's it, guys, from Meson African motives. Till we meet again.